Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to continue my lab. So I did lab seven yesterday. So lab seven was I logged in as Patty. Um, we mapped a share drive. We added her to a security group. We, we, we added that it can map automatically through Active Directory. So um, that's basically what we did. Today is going to be more like a remote desktop, uh, remote desktop applications, uh, remoting into someone's computer. Um, just like a CMD command that you would do, like so the common CMD command you would do if you're like level one. And um, we're also gonna go over um, how to how to actually manually get into someone's computer without, without them knowing, so you don't have to bother them if that makes sense. Because sometimes you know we, we tend to bother other other people. If 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 we can't get on their computer, we have to figure out a workaround. You know if that makes sense. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos and stuff. So probably we'll talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. All right. Greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed something different with me. I have a hoodie. <laughs> That's the first thing. So I'm wearing a hoodie, like a little, a little red riding hood. The second thing is I have a chair. I have a brand new chair. So this is a, this is a brand new chair that I got. I'm, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. It's just a chair that was recently set up for me. And it's pretty good. It's good for your back. I'll leave it below in the description if you want to get one. This is for people that work from home and they, they they, they, have, they have back issues, you know, it's good for your, for your neck, your back, and adjust this properly, if that makes sense. Like I said, again, I'm not sponsored by them. It's just, it's a good chair. Like this, it's worth the value of what you're paying for. So uh, anyway, let me share my screen with you and show you what we're going to do today. All right. So we're going to go into screen one. And I am going to, before I even do anything, give me a second. Let me, let me go into... Um, let me go into my Discord and exit out of Discord for a second because I don't want to get a thousand notifications while I'm doing this. All right. So we have our VM. We have a virtual desktop. We have a server 2016. Put it on the left-hand side. Don't worry about this. Obviously, this has to be on. Otherwise, nothing will work. Um, and you need to know about remote. You need to know about remote applications and how to remote in and stuff like that. That's really important, by the way. Whether you're using Bumgar, you're using TeamView, TeamViewer, you're using... Um, damnware, it doesn't matter what application it is, but you should know what you should know how to remote in to someone's computer, if that makes sense. So that is very important, by the way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is because a lot of these environments, what, what happens is you're, you're, you're blocking remote desktop services. So in order for it to actually work, you have to enable it. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Um, obviously you need admin rights for this too. So what we do is you go to the start menu. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on desktop too, by the way, I'm on Patty's computer. And, um, this is done on the back end. by the way, this is, this is something that you will probably have set up already in a job environment. So obviously for this environment, it's not set up. So I'm going to set it up for, I'm, 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 I'm logged in as her right now, but I'm, I also have to elevate my account in order for me to do these changes. If that makes sense, because she doesn't have the access to change anything under us UAC, you know? So. We're gonna right click on this PC, we're gonna hit properties. We're gonna hit remote settings and we're gonna enable that right now. So we're gonna do help desk, uh, capital P, password, one, two, three, exclamation point. And then this has to be on. So you do allow remote connections. Um, help desk is in there. You hit okay, you hit apply, you hit okay, and now you're good. So now if it's done correctly, help desk should be able to remote into that computer. So we're gonna be, we're gonna do, let me see. If, let me let me let me see if that's gonna do with desktop too. That's the name of the computer. It wasn't letting me do that before. Let's see if it works right now. Cause I did do flush DNS and stuff like that. It may work. It may not work. Let's see if it lets me do it. So then, how do you confirm like like she, the person's desktop too? Obviously, but how do you what do you what do you type on CMD? You know, just to make sure that you're actually connected to the right computer. That makes sense. Oh look, it actually worked. Hmm. Well, give me a second. Let me minimize this. I flushed DNS by the way. It wasn't working before. Like I flushed DNS before. I actually made this video. So I literally went into Patty's computer. I typed CMD, opened it up. Why is it coming up as a letter P? Remember we mapped the drive, the personal drive. So that's the reason why it's coming up as a letter P. Um, and I went and I did IP config. Cause it wasn't working for me. Flush DNS. And then I flushed DNS and I closed out of it and it wasn't working. So now it works. I flushed DNS, it works now. So if that, you have that same issue that you can't remote into the other computer even though you enable remote desktop services, just make sure you flush DNS. I might fix it. So you get the, the person that get this prompt, like do you want to sign them out? You hit yes. And then they have to say yes. If they don't say yes, then you know it's not gonna work. So then you hit okay. And then help desk. 
should be able to log in now. Help desk is on the computer. Obviously, you're logged in as help desk. You're not logged in as Patty. So then what are the advantages of this? The advantages of logging in as yourself is that you could go into users. You could go into Patty. You hit continue and show that you in. And then you could you could move things over for her. So like, for example, like if you're if you create this document right over here and you create a brand new folder, this is your desktop. You can put it on her desktop. Um, if you need to delete anything on her downloads folder, you could delete anything on her downloads folder. If you need to remove a favorite, you could do that. If you need to, I don't know, she has a GP update report over here. So let me open that. Let me open that up. She'll let me open it. So yeah, it tells me all the reports about what, what, what her, how she set up and stuff like that. I'm actually doing it from her computer, um, her user profile. That makes sense. Cause every time you log in to a computer, whether it's remote desktop, or just regular login, it creates a, an account for you on that computer, if that makes sense. So um, I would, I, I, I think you could do a lot. It could, for me, like I usually what I do is remote desktop. I typically move files over like this. If I cannot get in as the user, if that makes sense. The user's having a bunch of issues. I try to see if I can remote into the computer. So you go in here. Um, sometimes you may have to go into Windows. You may have to go into, um, show you what it is system 32 stink call when well, not system 32 sorry let me go back software distribution is windows updates so if you ever want to delete windows updates you do it in here um what else can you do remoted remoted into that computer what else can you do besides all this you could actually go into app data so if you had to delete the users outlook profile you could do it in here too so you go into uh users you go into Patty and you do slash app data. And then you can actually go into Outlook, you go into Word, you go into Excel, you go into Skype, you could delete a bunch of things using app data, which is kind of cool. You could do all that. So I'm going to get out of the computer right now. I'm going to hit OK. And then uh, she should be able to log back in again. So let me see the new folders right there. Look at that. Folders right there. See, you have a brand new folder for her. But obviously remote desktop has to be on and the help desk account needs to be part of that group if that makes sense because otherwise you can't remote in. So that's one thing. Next thing I wanna show you is how do you determine someone's shared drives? So you can determine it two ways. You can determine it by actually going into their computer logged in as them. You do start menu, you do CMD. It's my favorite, favorite thing to do, net use. And it tells you right there like what the drives are. And then you could go into your like if you're if you're working from home, for example, like like I am right now, you go into your computer and you take a screenshot of it and then you save it somewhere on your desktop, on your work desktop, if that makes sense. So you could do that and get away with that. So that, that's usually what I do. Um, so these are the shared these are the shared drives that she has access to that she's currently mapped to. And this is okay, okay, okay. So it's not that you wanna you know give it a go, if that makes sense. That's one way to do it. The second way to do it is you go into your help desk account. So this is desktop one. Remember, this is the help desk account. You go in here. You go into administration and you go into registry editor and you hit yes. And you do right click and you do connect and then you do desktop two. And it says this desktop two cannot be, you have to enable remote administrations enable. So just make sure that's enabled. So you, you have to read the error message that, that it says. So remember, right, I got over this in another video. So you do desktop two again, right? Remote administrations enabled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into services. We're gonna go into access, we're going to start. And go back here. Still not letting me in. So we're going to go into remote desktop is running. Remote access connection is running. Remote access auto connect. This one, remote users allows you to modify remote registry. So this is the one that we care about. And you see it's grayed out. It don't let you do anything. So how do you get away with this? So you go into services again. 
you run as administrator, you type help desk and you type your password in. And then you go into R, you just press the little R uh, and you wanna, let's see for that you do it. You should, should that you do it, start. Okay, file over here. So I'm trying to remote in with registry, if that makes sense. And it should let me in. There we go. As <laughs> simple as that. Like, what the hell did you just do, Kevin? No, so like, if you go here, right, obviously you need to know what you're doing because you're going to break the whole computer. You go in here, right, which is, this is really cool, by the way. And, you know, I, I do this all the time, like in my job. Uh, I don't want to bug the, I don't want to bug the user, if that makes sense, or the client. It's usually what I do. I go in here. I go in here and I go to Z and I see the driver's map with the Z drive. And like, oh, okay, it's met with the Z drive. So this is the share drives that they have. And this is like, so you, you could you could tell, you could tell what share drives they have access to without bu bugging them, if that makes sense. So it's one folder, that's another one, default, uh, this one, it's this one. You gotta figure out which one is the right one, obviously. So you play around with this, I'll let you guys play around with this when you guys have a chance. This is really cool, by the way. So I was playing around with my computer and um, I got this to work on in my job and I got this to work, you know, obviously on this VM. And because in my job, I could do this. In my job, I have access to do this. Obviously, you don't, you don't, you may not have access to this, but for me, it works. For you, it may not work because I don't know if you have access to it, but I, I enable that just now. So that's one way to figure out what shared drives they have access to. So that's something really important. Just keep that in mind. You could write that down somewhere in, in a book or something, because maybe when you get your first job, you could actually use this. Another thing you want to do is you want to see if you can see dollar sign into it, which you should be able to, because if you're able to remote in, you should be able to see dollar sign. So what do I mean by that? First thing I want to do is I want to find out the name of the computer. We know it's called desktop too. So you want to see dollar sign into it. So what you do is you do slash slash desktop two, see dollar sign. And it should let you in on that user's account. And then you go into users, you go into Patty. Uh, let's go to desktop. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna move this to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete that folder for her. And I'm gonna hit yes. And it should be gone now on her desktop. There we go. So put that over here. It should pop up over here. And it's probably not even gonna let you work, do anything with it because it's not even installed. So these are, these are things you could do on the computer. Uh, what's the next thing I wanted to show you? I wanted to show you how to remote in using Windows Remote Tool. It's another way you can use Windows Remote Tool to remote in and help them help the user while kicking them out of their computer. So what you do is you click on this little icon right here. Um, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty neat icon, right? Already like Windows 10 hum, comes with it, obviously. If, it, if you don't have it on your computer, it's probably because your, your, your job got rid of it or it's because you have a different type of Windows, you know, different, depends what kind of Windows you have. So uh, Windows Remote Assistant, which is kind of cool, and then you do help someone who invited you. Um, you do easy to connect and it checks your network network capabilities, right? Let's do advanced connection instead, right? And you wanna find out what the IP address of that computer is. So remember we have the IP address. So it's gonna be uh, ping, that's top two. Uh, 10.1.10.4. So we're going to do 10.1.10.4. And we hit next. And it's probably not going to let you do it. Like you don't have the correct permissions to remote into this computer. So I'm going to go back on this one. I'm going to go into the start menu. I'm going to go into this PC. I'm going to go into manage. I'm going to go into local users. I'm going to groups, remote desktop users. I see help desk is there. So I'm gonna leave that alone. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. So what I'm gonna do is I can't get around this. I'm actually gonna do uh, Windows Remote Remote Assistant. I wanna do invite someone, right? You see what I'm gonna do right now. So I tested this already, by the way. You're gonna go into. Uh, I'll show you what it is. I show you how to how to get into a computer because this this is this is something that you need to know if you're doing remote desktop with someone. You need to know this, by the way, whether it's using any type of software application. Uh, invite someone to help you. Save this file, and then what I'll do is I'm gonna put this on the desktop. 
I'm gonna hit save. And I'm gonna leave it right over here. And then for this one, we're gonna open up this this compute this computer remote desktop again on this one, right? You see, it gives you a code, right? Just just give it a second. Give it a second. Gives you gives you a code, right? Um, help someone who has invited you. Use an invitation that you have received, right? I'm gonna go into desktop two. See the other sign. I'm gonna tell him to. I tell him save save that file on your on your desktop. Like, okay, Kevin, I'll do that right now. You know, you walk, you walk them through. Go to Patty. Go to desktop. You hit open. It's gonna prompt you for the password. Can you give me the password that's prompting you for? Yeah, sure, Kevin. It's D Y T four T four F Z nine L M D. 4K, okay. So you get this screen on the, 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 do you want, we allow help desk to connect to your computer? Yes. And then now you have, now I'm, I'm gonna leave this on the other window. So now you're under a computer. You're actually like literally under computer, but you can't do anything. Like there's no, you could see what they're doing, right? I'm, I'm over here. This is desktop one, desktop two. You could see what they're doing on the desktop. And you can see maybe they're having an issue with their share drive. Maybe maybe they can't open the share drive. You, you don't know, right? So maybe they're having an issue with, with, with Patty. They can't go into the, the share drive. Maybe they're having another issue. And then yeah, you know what? You know what? Let me let me let me see. Um let me let me send chat. Let me send let me send this person to chat. Um, what's the issue? You know, what's what's the issue? Are you gonna say uh good morning? What's the issue that you're seeing on the computer? You know, and then they, they could you could you know, they, they see this on the this is help this this is help this is me. What do you see on the computer? And then like and then you're like, can I can I take control for a second? Can I take control for a second? And then the user patty, yes. And then you're, okay, good. So then you do request control. Uh, would you like to, we like helped us to share your, share, you know, control your desktop. Yes. And then here you start messing with their computer. So then you could actually, you know, you could type, you could do whatever you want. Now, now, now you're actually help desk and you're actually on their computer. So, so something cool that, something cool that I, I was just messing with. I don't know. You need to know this anyway, by the way. And then, uh, yeah, look, it's still there, by the way. It's not, it's, I have to actually leave in order for this to not, you know, to stop working. And then you. You exit out of it now. Now, now I no longer have control of it anymore. Well, yeah, you, you could put you could put this on your computer, and then you could actually remote in. And this is Windows Remote Desktop Services, a remote desktop tool. Uh, it's it, it's free. It comes with a computer. You could do this with someone. Obviously, they have to be on the same network and everything. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. But this is kind of cool, actually. So it's a little thing I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna close out of that. Um, so yeah, so now you know, you know, you, so you learned today, um, re, uh, reg edit, um, C dollar sign, um, app data, and remote desktop application, and how to remote in using RDP, remote desktop services. Those are all the things I would do if I was new to IT, and these things you could do, like practice in the lab environment. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. We're greatly appreciated. My next video is going to be a little more advanced, you know, like the group policy stuff. We can do some other stuff. It should be fun. Um, and with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Take care. Peace. Later. Bye.